Jet Lawrence has a massive problem. Hey everybody, Walter Wanders, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting, pull no punches, so sugar coating it in the rainbows, the sunshine. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today, and it would appear the Wonder Boy, the face of the industry, Jet Lawrence. I'm the new face of the industry, the Wonder Boy. Don't forget to buy some donuts the next time you're at the stadium. Might have some issues. He's managed to potentially PO a few people off. Hey, Jet, it's Kenny Boy Roxon. I'm running and gunning for you. See you in L.A. this weekend. Realities are this, friends. I mean, there's one thing right now that can save Jet. We'll, we'll say, stay till the end because I'll reveal that. What's going to save Jet right now? Because right now, he did not make any friends. The realities are this, friends. The realities are this. You see, when you emerge out of nowhere, and he came out of nowhere, really, to become, we didn't. We knew that he was a great writer, he knew it would be fun, we knew it would be a player, but we didn't know he would take the industry by storm. Case in point, when you bring a box of donuts to the pits one day for fun, and all of a sudden people run with it and it starts to trend, and the next thing you know, that you're selling donuts in the stadiums. <laughs> He managed to get what was a joke becoming an actual product you could go buy in the very stadiums that these guys are racing. He came out of nowhere and took the whole industry by storm. Then you couple in the fact that his brother is, and if, make no mistake about this, Hunter, great rider. But had it not been for Jet Lawrence coming out of nowhere and really catapulting the family into the spotlight the way he has everybody else that's last name is Lawrence is basically along for the ride even if Hunter had performed the way which he all intents and purposes would have had came out and won the championship if there's no jet and Hunter came out and won this year yeah it'd be great but it wouldn't be like the dynasty that we see so the realities are this the industry itself has has rallied a bunch of PR and all these moving parts and pieces to create this new buzz around the Lawrences because they want to sell tickets and merch and whatever they can. It's the new like Jeremy of the industry. When Jeremy, the king of Supercross was around, everybody latched onto him. He was just this marketing machine. We're seeing the same thing out of uh, Hunter uh, Jet Lawrence. So the family's along for the ride. They've earned it. I'm not discrediting any of that. What I'm discrediting right now is the fact that you see, if you're another rider, a factory rider who has an agent that's trying to out, go out there and work your deals for you, and your benchmark has now been set by the industry in the form of Jet Lawrence, you're handicapped. So the riders, while they and they don't, they're not appreciating going out there and getting smoked at the same time. Their stock value is going down courtesy of Jet Lawrence. So when you see Kenny Boy Roxon, who really gave the middle finger to the industry as he almost gave up his, his arm for a team that ushered him out, and then ultimately the guy that they ushered him out for, Chase, is getting ushered out for Jet. So poetic justice is coming around. And Honda's dynasty will go for as long as it does. Eventually, it will end. Eventually, Jet Lawrence will lose. Now, here's the, here's the challenge. Last weekend at round two of Super Duper, he in all intents and purposes lost twice. For one, he, he didn't fight for the win. As a racer, you want to see, as a fan, you want to see a racer fight. When you see somebody wave somebody by and then sugarcoat it on, whether it's true or not, the truth is usually somewhere in the middle. Whether it's true or not, when you see a rider wave somebody by, and you can laugh at the podium, yeah. I just did it because I wanted to hook Kenny up, and I was doing this this math in my head, and I maybe, I maybe, possibly. But the realities are, you owe it to your fans to go out and race, not wave riders by. And when you have riders already a little bit not in love with you because you're dominating all the media, huh? And all the money is going to jet and his family being a byproduct of that, the riders aren't stoked, all right? They're just not stoked. Now, the dude, here's the, stay tuned, because we're going to talk about the one way that Jet gets past this, because he actually really pulled his own covers. 
Because most of us believe, in fact, it was pretty much the case, Kenny Boy was faster. He hunted him down and and was ready to uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the guy. We'll never know. We'll never know. Jet should have fought. He didn't. He let him go by. So what we're having now is we're, there's only one way Jet really can answer back. There's only one way Jet can make this all go away. Is he has to go back and race these guys and win. He's either got to go back to smoking everybody, which I just don't think is going to happen. I think in Supercross, there's just too tight. There's too much that can happen. It's not the outdoors anymore. That's why a lot of riders debut in the outdoors, not Supercross, at least historically. In the past, that's what we've done is we put the amateurs in like we did with Danger, started them off the outdoors and then went into Supercross. You segue them in because the outdoors is a little more familiar and a little more forgiving than Supercross. So things are about to get hugely interesting. And you see, because you have people in the media like me and others now talking about this, it's going to start to fuel this fire and it should. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a moto guy, wants to see you not only went on the track, off the track. Understand the waters you're swimming in now? Shark in Bested Jet Lawrence, welcome to the swimming pool. You're going to have to go swim with some heavies this weekend in LA Coliseum. And the track does not look like it could be jet friendly. We'll have to wait and see. It doesn't matter. It could be an oval track. It doesn't even matter anymore. You have to go silence the critics right now because last weekend, Kenny Boy was nipping at your heels. The weekend before, you got beat by, by Chase Sexton. This weekend, in my opinion, you got to come out and dominate. And I'm not sure you're going to do it because while you were laughing it off on the podium, I think inside you're a little worried. And for that reason, I'll be blowing the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media link in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars. I'll see you on the next video.